Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I am playing with Dina's brand new um, neon squirrel sticks. I'm going to be playing with them in the small craft journal and I'm just doing a single page spread. Now I'm going to be completely um, transparent here. This is inspired by uh, Dina's subscriber video that she did most recently um, using the grids uh, stamp set. So um, I decided I would do a page that had some grids on it. So I'm using this stamp from that most recent stamp release. I think that was the previous one. And I'm going to stamp these going across my page. So you'll notice I've put some clear gesso on my page as well. Um, that is because I'm going to go directly onto the page with scribble sticks. And um, at this stage, I wasn't sure whether I'd um, water activate them or move want to move them around. And I just figured they would move easier on the substrate if there was a bit of clear gesso on there first. So this journal is quite a chunky little monkey. So um, you'll notice that I was kind of feeling the pages to see how flat they were going to lie just because, you know, stamping. I'm not the best at stamping. I don't always get the best um, transfer of stamped image directly onto my page. And I wanted to try and make sure it was as good as possible. So these are the little juicy neon uh, scribble sticks and I am just going to go straight in and pop some colour into these squares. Now I am pressing quite hard. Dina always says one of the secrets of the scribble sticks is to lay down as much pigment as possible. Now for sure having the clear gesso on the background gives it a kind of sandy grainy quality which means that it is so much easier to get that uh, pigment onto the page it grips really well um, so if this is a, a technique that you want to have a go at I would recommend popping some clear gesso on your page before you start um, and then I'm just using each of the colours and I'm popping some into the boxes so I'm starting off with three boxes um, we know odd numbers work really well and I'm just repeating those colours then I'm going to do some colours in three more boxes And these uh, scribble sticks, they are as vibrant as um, the paints, definitely. And if you are someone who loves scribble sticks, you are going to love these. I think um, they are so great because they are so easy to take. You know, if you're going on holiday or on a day trip or something and you want some supplies with you, these are fabulous because if you were to just take your scribble sticks, some black and white paint, um, a water brush, you're sorted. You can you can create with these. You can use them to collect the pigment off them and you can uh, create with them like this as well directly onto your page. So in these uh, final boxes, I know there isn't three. There's not an odd number. <laughs> I'm doing a little um, rainbow uh, box, little rainbow boxes of scribble sticks um, just to finish off. And I really like the way that these grid squares kind of flow across the page. Um, and I kind of just wanted to play with the scribble sticks straight onto the craft because I know that the pastel scribble sticks uh, pop really well on the craft background. Um, and I just kind of wanted to see if these would uh, play as nicely and they really do. I think like the secret is just pop down as much pigment as you can, um, as you can do and it gets that nice vibrant opaque colour. Okay, so nearly at the end of my little rainbow squares. And you notice I'm trying to do my uh, strokes of colour in different directions just to bring a bit more interest. Then I decided in some of the squares I would just play with a bit of white paint, mix that in with the scribble stick just to see uh, what it would do. And it does create a really pretty sort of pastel neon shade, really nice. Um, I'm only going to do that in a few of the boxes because I didn't want to dampen down all those bright, vibrant colours. But you can see where I'm mixing the paint. Um, it is lifting some of the pigment off and I am creating a really pretty uh, pink colour on my glass mat. OK, so I did that with um, with all of those colours in those boxes, those three boxes. I went in and um, activated the orange one and the yellow as well. Um, drying off my brush in between so that there wasn't too much moisture in there because I really did just want the paint to activate the uh, neon scribble stick and not the water. Um, but yeah, really pretty. There are so many things you can do with these scribble sticks as well. They work so well on so many um, substrates. Uh, 
Okay, so once I've done that, I gave it a really good dry and um, then started to think about what I could do next. Decided I would go in with some transparency. I didn't uh, want to lose any of those bold colours and transparencies are perfect for this because obviously, you know, obviously, like stating the obvious here, you can see through them so you don't lose any of your background. And I wanted some text on my page and I thought about using collage paper. Um, but knew that because the scribble sticks are water reactive, I couldn't go in with any uh, matte medium. I'd have to use um, a glue stick or something to add those on the page. But the transparencies work perfectly. They gave me that little bit of interest um, and also that kind of reflective quality the transparencies bring as well. So this is Dina's ultra thick gel medium. Um, I'm just popping a little bit on and then give it a really good press and it will dry clear. You won't see it as long as you don't go in with too much. Um, it works really nicely. OK, so I've got that going on now, a little bit of extra interest. And I'm kind of trying to keep away from um, the rest of the page, like really trying hard to... Uh, leave that clear space. I've grabbed one of Dina's chipboard figures, added some black gesso to it because I felt that the black would pop really nicely against the uh, neon scribble sticks. Um, and you also are also getting a glimpse of another page that I've done using the neon scribble sticks. That will be coming up in a, a later video. Here I'm just going back in with the black gesso and adding a little bit over the top of those staples. Um, this is something that I do and I can't really explain why I do it. Uh, I don't mind the staples in my book, but I don't know. There must be something about them showing when they're on black that um, my brain doesn't like because I find myself always doing this. Um, so I've got my figure. I've also grounded the figure. I've added a bit of Stabilo all pencil at the bottom of the page um, just so that that figure is stood on something and not just kind of hovering at the bottom of the page and just water activating that and um, that is a really nice dark colour kind of features well with the rest of the figure now obviously I'm, I can't dry anything on this page without damaging the transparency so I'm having to be a little bit careful um, with how I work now because I've got areas that are wet so I decided I would go in with some white circles and grab my very painty cardboard tube and just stamp some circles onto my page as well um, I felt that this page needed a little pop of contrast so bringing some white onto the page is an, a really easy way to achieve that and then some splatters I'm trying really hard to protect my computer from getting covered in splatters and my iPad because um, I have given them a really good clean recently and yeah so that's what the hand was doing there it was trying to stop them spreading and then I've grabbed a typed ledger um, quote and I'm going to pop that on my page as well um, so this is a really simple quick way to create using the neon scribble sticks this would work with any of the scribble sticks in fact this technique would work with uh, paint, collage paper, sticking into the squares, anything, as you will have seen. If you're a subscriber of Dina's, you will have seen her do many, many things like this. So um, that is how this first page came together using Dina's new brand new neon scribble sticks. They're very exciting. Um, thanks for watching. Come back again tomorrow for more inspiration using Dina's brand new release.